So the frame that I made for this pan is a 24 inch wide aluminum exterior storm window. Uh, it's 24 inches wide and it was longer than, it was like 50 some inches long. Um, so they're held together with, but I took all the screens and the windows, the glass out, and then I measured how long I needed from here to set up above that bolt, but still catch this one. And between here, and then I, I cut that at a 45 degree angle on each side. And then the opposite end of the piece I cut off has screws in it. So I took those screws out, which took the leftover side piece and gave me my bottom piece. And so that one wound up getting uh, turned around and brought down here. And then I just drilled holes to line up with the little screw holes in this, in the little screw hole right there. And it wasn't going to be sturdy enough, but it would set away from the plastic, is what I wanted. And then I had some um, quarter inch by one inch flat aluminum that was used for, I don't remember, I took it off of something, a trailer floor or something. Anyhow, I had enough pieces of that that on the, the other side of the, yeah, right there, it's, there's a channel. And so this one inch wide dropped down in there in that channel at the bottom. And then I drilled and pop riveted the corners to hold it in. And the same thing at the top, there's a channel where the, I guess the glass would run on this. Because um, this is the inside of the storm window. This would be the outside that goes out to the, on the, on the trim outside. And then um, I just measured and centered this fan. And then I ran this piece all the way up. riveted it here and there for both sides and um, then I was able to find a piece or I had a piece of this I cut another piece to match across the bottom and then just pop riveted it on here to hold that and then pop riveted it in each corner then I uh, obviously you can see there's a gap if you do that I, I cut some more pieces to fill this solid and I pop riveted them you can't see the pop rivets uh, but they are on there um, I use smaller ones but, um, and then I drilled holes here I didn't need to but I didn't know um, and, and this hole that hole this and that and through this to bolt the fan to. Um, then I put a pop rivet here to hold this little this piece to there. Same over here and then you know each corner because I just wanted it all solid as I could get it. Um, and then brought it out, put it up here without the fan. Took the, took the nut off of here that was already on the on the greenhouse build. Well, and then I, I marked my holes, and then I, I drilled the holes out, and then I took this nut off, slid this on, bolted it down on there and there, and then these two down here that were already in the build, and same over there and over the, over there. Um, as you can see, this is the corner that I, I did the 45 degree miter on. It's not sitting down in there. Real nice, it bent up, but good enough. Over here, it's a, a little bit 
off. Um, I'm not worried about that, I guess. Um, if I ever have to take that off, I'll have to deal with that. And then up on the corners, you can see when measuring was off a little bit, I had to kind of bend that corner to get it to set in where I wanted. And how I measured, how I marked where to drill my holes was I drew a mark here on my center where the center of this bolt was before I had my frame up here. And then I put a mark up there where the center is. And when I put it up there, then I could just put a mark where I wanted to drill my hole. I did that on all four corners and then drilled the holes out a little bigger than the bolts and um, put them back on and it, and it worked. Um, once I got to that point, um, this box was not here. It was uh, it was just the frame. So then I took some longer bolts because there's only, you can see, about a three quarters of an inch, um, maybe an inch between the plastic and the outside of this frame. Um, even less where this is double. Um, and so I took longer bolts, passed it through at the bottom because I could you know, I could bow that out enough to to get the bolts through. And then started, they were, I used, I don't know, inch and a half long bolts and then put nuts on them. And then was able to do this, lean it here. And the ones up here was a little bit shorter, but I was able to get them in and finger tight to hold. Actually, I only got one of them in. Finger tight, got it all kind of squared up, marked where it needed to be. Snugged it down enough that it was pressing the louver against the plastic. The plastic was bowing out um, on the, the outside because this was, you know, pressing it like that. So it was bowing it out pretty fair. Um, you know, a good three-eighths to half-inch. And then I went on the outside and just took, and I could see right where the louvers were. And then I just cut with a razor knife all the way around. I came around to the outside and I could see the outline of the louver pressing against the plastic and just took a razor knife and just cut down and cut around and then took it out and then pulled this through. Um, it's very snug, as close as I could get. And it just, the plastic just kind of you know, it was snug and I was able to push it on. Then it came in, rebolted the, the, with shorter bolts, got it pulled up snug, and then went around on the outside and pushed the uh, plastic in. And then put that aluminum tape, folded it in a 45 to keep bugs from crawling in and, and moisture out. And, um, and then my plug in went ahead and matched it here. It's got a, that's just to plug the hole up. It's just a cut off piece of extension cord. There's nothing on either side. And then this is a controller that does, uh, it uh, does temperature, it kicks on. And you adjust the fan speed. Here's the on and off. And um, let's put a little strain relief there. I just don't want any cords vibrating on any metal. Um, this tie wrap there and it's not touching anything else so I guess it ain't gonna well, I mean it's not vibrating much. So and this is pretty solid now. So we got some wind it's supposed to come in tonight. So we'll see how that works. But that's um, how I did it and I think it turned out pretty good. My wife says it looks pretty good, too. Okay, um, so with the, with that vent there, I picked out another one that's going to have to be shipped to the store. But it's a, a louver vent that's just gravity, so it will open when there's draft. So air can come in. I'll put a screen on the outside. But that's ordered, um, they have to ship it, um, but that's okay. And then 
that'll allow when that kicks on the gravity will pull that air can just flow through here and I've got these open and also I don't know if we can count the sun I added a piece I have some aluminum conduit and I just meant this drilled a hole through here had some leftover aluminum that I used when I made that uh, frame for the fan and then put a piece on the outside bolted it drilled it through this and now this is solid really solid it was really flimsy we've got a, it's supposed to be wind coming in tonight or this afternoon even so I wanted to do that um, this side over here is a little more flimsy than I would like. This is the second one for the wall under the fan. And what I did was this is just aluminum conduit, aluminum tubing. And I just um, stuck it in the vise and smashed it down, squeezed it down. I tried heating the first one on the edges to not get it split, but it didn't make any difference between heating them or not, so they did split. Um, and then I bent it at that angle. This is just trial and error, but this is the other side. And it, I haven't drilled yet. Um, but you can see it's got kind of a V shape to it, and this one's split as well. Um, and I, how I did that was I set it on a vise to where the jaws were on each side, to, and then took a, a small ball peen hammer and just tapped the center down a little bit to give it somewhat of a V shape. And the other side I did the same, and I didn't make it very perfect. But um, basically, you just measure from where you're going to bolt it, which in this case is right here. That's got a bolt right there. And then up there, where it's going to be. And make your bend and start fitting things and start a little long. See, as you can see, I got a mark there. And then I, that wasn't far enough, so then I went there. And now I'm going to get up there again. I got two dots there where I'm going to possibly drill holes. Make sure they're good. If they are, after I bent that, I'll go ahead and drill them. Um, and then put bolts through. Temporary bolts in there. Finger tight. Pulled up there. And scooted this door over enough that I can get ice grips up in here. I'll hold that and then I'm just going to drill at an angle. And then we got to work the bolts down in there. And then we'll snug it up and snug that up. Alright. Made a little, quite a little bit solider. Just poked a hole. I used one of the leftover spare bolts and then another one over here but there's plenty of room kind of tweak that a little bit it's the same way on the other side but there's enough room it doesn't seem to hurt anything so that's a lot solider <laughs> 